Welcome to the Data Encryption and Access Control in AWS Machine Learning. I am thrilled to guide you through the robust security features that AWS offers to protect your uh, valuable uh, machine learning assets, all your data assets, right? So in today's data-driven world, security isn't just a checkbox, right? It's a critical foundation for innovation. So we will explore how AWS combines powerful encryption techniques with sophisticated access control mechanism uh, to create machine learning environments that are both secure and compliant. So wh whether you are handling financial data, healthcare records, or proprietary algorithm, uh, these practices will help safeguard your machine learning journey in the cloud. Okay. So let's just start with a fundamental question. Why is data security so vital in machine learning? Okay. So machine learning pipelines are increasingly hungry for data, right? The more, the better. But this creates a significant security challenge. Uh, your training data sets often contain sensitive information ranging from uh, personal identifiers so, to proprietary business intelligence, right? So consider the stakes for a minute. GDPR violations can result in fines up to 4% of global revenue from the firm, right? HIPAA breaches might cost you $50,000 per violation. And PCI DSS non-compliance could mean uh, losing your ability to process payments altogether, right? So these are, uh, you know, very serious kind of uh, uh, consequences, right? So beyond compliance, security breaches can destroy customer trust and compromise your competitive edge. Uh, even more concerning for machine learning specifically is compromised data can lead to poison models, right? Uh, which can render your AI invest investment useless or even harmful. Right? The good news is that with proper encryption and access controls, we can build machine learning systems that are both powerful and protected. Uh, think of these security measures as the immune system for your machine learning organisms, uh, essential for its healthy operation in today's uh, threat landscape. So moving on. So AWS provides a comprehensive encryption that protects your machine learning assets through their life cycle. Let, let, let's, bre let's break this down into two fundamental categories, okay? So first, data at rest, meaning stored data. So AWS offers multiple layers of production. Uh, AWS Key Management Service, KMS, acts as your central command for encryption keys. Uh, S3 bucket encryption secures your training data sets with minif minimal performance impact, right? And EBS encryption protects your compute volumes while your models train and serve uh, uh, predictions. For data in transit, information moving between services. So AWS implements TLS SSL protocols with with perfect forward secrecy, right? This means that if encryption keys are compromised in the future, past communications remain secure, okay? So AWS Private Link takes this further by allowing private connectivity between services without exposing traffic to the public internet because it's a point-to-point -point connection pretty much, right? So what makes AWS encryption particularly powerful for machine learning workflows is its flexibility. So you, you can choose between AWS managed keys for simplicity or customer managed keys for granular control. So CMKs put you in the driver's seat, right? Allowing you to implement key rotation policies, establish separation of duties, and even use your own hardware security modules, right? This flexibility helps you balance security requirements with operational efficiency as your machine learning initiatives scale. All right, moving on to AWS Key Management Service deserves special attention as it forms the backbone of the encryption for machine learning workloads. Uh, KMS isn't just about creating keys. It's a sophisticated service that manages the entire lifecycle. 
The beauty of KMS for machine learning practitioners is its seamless integration with the entire AWS ecosystem. Uh, your S3 buckets containing training data, or Redshift clusters storing feature engineering results, and SageMaker notebooks running your experiments all can leverage the same centralized key management infrastructure. And that's really huge. Uh, those of you who already work, uh, I would appreciate this. Uh, this integration extends throughout your machine learning pipeline. So imagine tracking a single data set. When it's stored in S3, it is encrypted with key MS keys. Right? When loaded into a SageMaker training job, the instances EBS volumes are encrypted with the same key management system. And when your model is deployed for inference, the endpoints of storage remains protected as well. KMS also maintains comprehensive logs through CloudTrail, uh, giving, uh, that gives you an immutable audit history of every encryption, uh, encryption operation, right? This is invaluable for demonstrating compliance and investigating security events, right? Uh, and with automatic key rotation, you maintain a strong encryption posture without disrupting your machine learning operations. Uh, think of KMS as your encryption command center, okay? Uh, providing cryptographic protection while maintaining the performance needed for data intensive machine learning workloads. Okay. All right, so uh, access control, right? So while encryption protects your data from unauthorized viewing, Access control determines who can interact with your machine learning resources in the first place. So AWS identify, uh, uh, AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, is your comprehensive gatekeeper, right? Uh, the cornerstone of effective access control is the principle of least privilege. Rather than broad permissions, IAM lets you grant precisely what's needed and nothing more, right? For machine learning teams, this might mean allowing data scientists to train models, but restricting them from modifying production endpoints. So IAM roles are particularly powerful in machine learning workflows, right? They enable services to communicate security without hard-coded credentials. So your SageMaker training job can access S3 data through a temporary role. Lambda functions can update model metadata and glue jobs can prepare features all without exposing long-term credentials. Uh, for human access, IAM supports multi-factor authentication, adding an essential layer of protection. Uh, even if credentials are com compromised, attackers can't access your machine learning system without the second factor. And this is increasingly important as ML models become business critical assets. IAM also supports uh, sophisticated permission boundaries and service control policies, uh, allowing your organizations to implement defense in depth strategies. For example, you might restrict certain operations to specific, VP specific VPCs or limit the regions where your sensitive data can be exposed. Uh, when properly implementing IAM, trans IAM, uh, IAM transforms from a technical necessity into a strategic advantage, right? It enables collaboration and maintains security guardrails around your ML operations. Okay. So S3 and data lake security best practices, right? Since most machine learning workflows start with data lakes, often built on S3, uh, securing these foundations is critical. So let's explore best practices that balance protection with the scalability, right? So S3 bucket policies work alongside IAM to create defense in depth. Uh, while IAM controls who, who can do what, bucket policies establish guardrails at the resource level, okay? So for machine learning use cases, you might implement policies requiring encryption for all uploads or preventing deletion of of training data sets, right? This is just an example. You can, you know, VPC endpoints represent another powerful security pattern, right? They allow your machine learning infrastructure to communicate with S3 without traversing the public internet. 
this means your feature engineering jobs, uh, training instances, and inference endpoints can access securely, uh, can access data securely through your private network. And data classification and tagging in a, you know, enables automated security enforcement, right? It systematically categorizes data sensitivity from public to highly confidential, right? Uh, you can implement appropriate controls. For example, high, you know, uh, highly sensitive data might require CMK encryption and restricted IAM per permissions, while public data sets might use simpler controls, right? Also consider implement, you know, implementing lifecycle policies based on these classifications. So training data might move from high performance of storage during development to cheaper, equally secure archive storage with models into production, right? Uh, so you should remember that securing data lakes isn't a one-time effort. Uh, regular security assessments, uh, preferably automated through tools like AWS Config and Security Hub, ensures your protections remain effective as your machine learning operations evolve and scale. Okay, moving on. So the real world scenarios, right, uh, for compliance. So these security uh, principles are alive, right, when applied to real world scenarios. So let's explore how different industries leverage AWS security for their specific challenges, right? So in financial services, ML models often analyze transaction patterns to detect fraud. Uh, these models need access to historical transaction logs, uh, highly sensitive data subject to numerous regulations, right? Uh, by implementing in, uh, encrypted S3 buckets with its strict access controls, uh, financial institutions can train uh, powerful fraud detection models while maintaining regulatory compliance. Uh, one global bank reduced false positive by 50% using machine learning while maintaining SOC 2 and PCI DSS compliance through these techniques. And this is coming from a use case I read on AWS website. Uh, healthcare organizations face similar challenges with patient records, right? Uh, imagine a cancer research institute developing di diagnostic machine learning models. Uh, by using HIPAA-eligible AWS services with end-to-end -end encryption, uh, they can securely process imaging data while maintaining patient privacy. So customer managed keys provide the granular control needed for PHI, okay? uh, while detailed access logs demonstrate compliance during audits. Okay. Government agencies, you know, perhaps face the strictest requirements of all, right? So AWS compliance with FedRAMP high and NIST 853 and ISO 27001 provides the foundation needed for secure ML operations uh, through comprehensive encryption and role-based access control. Uh, you know, public government agencies can leverage modern model ML capabilities while satisfying stringent security requirements, right? What's remarkable about AWS approach is how these compliance frameworks are built into, into the infrastructure. Rather than bolting security onto ex existing systems, AWS embeds it from the ground up, right? Uh, which allows you to inherit these controls from your ML workloads. All right, so wrapping this up, right, as, as, as we conclude, let's distill what we've covered into actionable best practices for securing your ML operations on AWS. First, embrace encryption as a default stance, right? Always encrypt your data at rest. Also encrypt your data in transit, right? Uh, leverage key KMS for centralized key management and implement automated compliance check to verify encryption status. Second, uh, uh, apply least privilege access through IAM. Build uh, roles specific to ML functions, uh, training deployment model, uh, deployment monitoring, and regulatory review permissions to eliminate ac uh, access. Access. <laughs> Remember that effective. Security is as much about what you prevent as what you allow. All right. Third, implement uh, you know security audit rhythm uh, 
use AWS config rules to continuously verify compliance, security help to aggregate findings, and, and cloud trail to monitor encryption operations, right? Security isn't a destination, right, but a continuous journey. So stay current with evolving compliance requirements. As ML becomes more regulated, particularly in areas like bias and explainability, your security infrastructure will need to adapt accordingly, right? I hope this session has equipped you with uh, both technical knowledge and a strategic perspective to secure your ML workloads in AWS. Remember that security enables innovation, right? By protecting your data models, you, you create the foundation for your responsible AI development, right? Uh, again, thank you for your attention today. I'd be delighted to answer any questions about implementing these practices in your specific ML scenarios. So let's continue building machine learning systems that are not only powerful and scalable, but fundamentally secure by design.